everybody. Welcome back. Um, this is thrift haul, or this is painting thrift haul number 10. Um, I just finished the second coat on this silverware box that holds the silverware. So I'm just going to move that there. And I'm trying to get some painting done before I get um, in between my bus runs. It is hot outside. The heat index is supposed to be 110 today, and it feels like it. So, I'm going to move the camera up just a little bit so that you guys can actually see me. I noticed in my last video that all you could see was my chest, pretty much. Couldn't see me, but I also want to make it where you can see what I'm doing. Move this out of the way. Okay, so we'll get started. Get started with this small picture frame. It's got the pretty little details. I am going to paint it white. I'm using Dixie Bell cotton. This is an 8 ounce can. Um, and I never take this off because it's just as easy just to use a little scraper and um, scrape it off the glass with a if you use Windex the foam Windex does best you just put it on there and it reactivates it it just comes off real easy and I'm using my paint pixie brush the little Frenchie because I like this little brush to get down into all the details easy without having to really fight it or work too hard at it. So I will uh, get as much done first coat until I have to go back for my evening or late afternoon bus run. Most of you know, but if you're new here, I do drive the pre-K bus for our school district. It was so hot on our bus yesterday that I went to Dillon's last night and uh, got some of the little bitty bottles of water and I put them in my freezer and by the time I get on the bus and get the kids picked up from school it should start melting and they will have nice cold water for the ride home kind of help cool them down in this heat because it's like crazy and no we don't have air conditioning on our buses but we just do what we got to do get these kids back and forth to school I usually come home and I look like I just got out of the shower and then I go in and take a shower to get cooled down because it's so hot. But I'm going to get the first coat on these picture frames. go ahead and get, hopefully I don't get no paint on my clothes. Sometimes I can be real messy. Let's see, I need a block. I use blocks a lot because it really helps with keeping it up off of the table. So that you can paint it without getting up. As you can tell, sometimes I forget the block on some things, and so my drop cloth gets all different colors. But hey, okay, that's the first coat on that one. And after
after I get probably two coats. It'll probably take two coats. Um, I'll wet distress it back. And it will be really pretty with all this detail showing. It'll just make this detail pop. get this painted. Um, I think this is like, as far as thrift hauls, I think this will be number 19. No, this will be my 20th video just for painting uh, smalls that I go and pick up at the thrift store. So, go back in the, um, library of my videos and watch the rest of them. Pretty new at it. I've got, um, an idea that I'm throwing around in my head. I've got a few people that wants to learn how to crochet. And I do crochet a lot. I've kind of taken a year off, but I've got a lot of experience in crocheting. And usually I can crochet pretty much anything that I find that I like. Now, I have found, I think, a couple of patterns that I haven't been able to. I, well, not because I couldn't do it. I just didn't have the patience to do it. So then I'll pass that off to somebody else that's in the family and say, here, you do this. Like the graph gans, I just don't have the patience for those. My sister Jody does a lot of them. And I just don't have the patience for that. So, anyway, I'm throwing around maybe doing a crochet 101 to teach the different stitches and then maybe uh, work on a small project, crochet project with you guys. Maybe once a, once a week, once a month, I don't know, it just depends on how things go. But at least once a month, or every couple of weeks. I'm thinking about doing that and add those into my videos for reference. And then if somebody wants, that I know that wants to learn, I can just send them to the video and they can watch it that way and learn because it's pretty easy. I have not, not once, not been able to teach somebody. I'm uh, good at teaching left-handers also. I've taught a few people that are left-handers. You know I'm right-handed. Okay, there's the second one. third one here. So, it's really, really hot here, as I said. How about everybody else? What's your weather like? Where you're at? It might all just be right here from Kansas. We haven't had, well, we've had a couple of nights last week that we had a little bit of rain, but not much um, in the last month. So it's pretty dry. All the flowers are dying. I go out there and water them every night and every morning to keep them going. I had just planted new grass in uh, April and May. And 
the grass that I planted in April is still doing good, but the grass that I planted in May is dying because it's just, or maybe it was May and June. But the last batch of grass that I planted is dying. It's just too hot for them. I'm hoping it comes back once it kind of cools down. Maybe the roots will still be alive down there. And if not, I'm going to be sad. I really watered them and gave them lots of love and time going out there every morning and every night to water them. It's uh, so warm here that the air conditioner is not even cooling like it should. It's and it's bogged down. The humidity is just ridiculous. And of course at work on the buses we have to wear them yellow vests. I don't know why we have to wear them while we're on the bus. I can see wearing them while we're out in the yard going to our buses so nobody backs up on us. But once we get on the bus, I think we should be able to take them off. Those things just add extra heat. I just feel sorry for the city guys out in the heat in the sun and stuff that have to wear those vests because it's like, oh, they just... Hot. This here, since I'm using white and it's a dark frame, I might have to do three coats to keep that dark from coming back through. I believe that's that's what I had to do on that uh, silverware holder was three coats, or actually I think it was like two and a half. But get this done, and then I'll paint this little tray on a stand. That sells really good because I've already put a couple of them up there at the antique mall here in Arp City on South Summit. And, uh, as soon as I put them in or jewelry boxes, they sell pretty fast. So I'm pretty pleased that I can keep finding them. Okay, so that one's painted. Let me find a place to put it. Okay, so now we'll go on to this little tray here. I always try and do the bottom sides so that way I don't have to flip it when it's wet. Do the bottom sides first. It's easier to get to them. you guys have a favorite color that you like to put into your house as far as for accessories? I think I like the white and then I like uh, Apothecary by DIY Paint and I also like Vintage Duck Egg from um, Dixie Belle. The vintage Duck Egg, I just love it. But it's starting to be fall colors, so I need to 
keep that in mind. And that will be your browns and your golds and greens and navy blue. So I do need to paint up some stuff in fall colors. And so I got the bottom of that painted now. And then we will paint this around it. Pretty easy. This here might take two and a half coats uh, since it's so dark. You can hear my washing machine. I'm doing a load of laundry while I'm here on waiting for my last bus run. And I will paint the bottom. I always paint the bottom and the backs of stuff, so I can get this. Do you guys see what I'm doing here? I'm sorry. Covers really good and with it being dark. I love this little Frenchie brush, which you can get a hold of me on Facebook. Uh, Vintage Robin's Nest, all one word, no spaces in between if you're interested. I do retail for them. You can pick them up at the antique mall or you can send me a email um, at vintage robins nest at hotmail.com I'm just going to do the insides and the top of this and this will be the first coat on this and I think Next two things I think I'm going to do in the vintage duck egg. I think I've got enough white up there now. For the last video I did all white. When I pick these up at um, thrift stores or garage sales, I do clean them. I use Dawn dish soap and warm water, wipe them down. The things that are greasy, you can use scrubbing bubbles. Uh, if it's glassware or something like that, you can put them in the dishwasher uh, to get them clean. Basically, I use uh, Dawn dish soap and water and I haven't had any issues getting the stuff clean. So. Okay, so I'm going to switch this. So I'm going to do my little baggie trick. I'm going to put my paintbrush in my baggie so that it stays moist until I'm ready to do the next coat on it. Put the lid back on my paint. Okay, let me see. Where's my vintage? This is my vintage duck egg. And see, I'm going to do this candlestick and I'm going to do this little um, cutting board. And what do 
I want to paint it with. I guess I'll use the Paint Fixie number 10. This is a uh, nice brush. See, isn't that pretty? I just love that color. It is. I need to take this little thing off here. Usually, if it's too difficult, I'll just tape it, but I'll just take it off this time. So, we're just going to dip this in the paint. This here, I will probably put a stencil on it. I've got uh, chickens and pigs and cows and rabbits. I don't know for sure what I'll put on it yet, but I will put a stencil on it. doesn't take very much paint at all. Get one of these done. This hair will cover in just about one and a half coats, I believe. That's all it's going to take this. back after bus run which will be about two hours and I'll put the second coat on stress them back and uh, bring you guys along for that so I've got that one done already this one's been wiped down most of these paints, the water-based chalk paint, will stick to just about anything. They'll stick to plastic, glass, metal, wood. Um, I haven't found anything yet that it won't stick to. Now, sometimes when you go to do the second coat, if it's like real slick, you just need to uh, brush the second coat on real lightly because it will reactivate your paint because it is um, water-based. And so it will kind of make it uh, peel back on you, but if you do it lightly, it won't. You won't have any issue. And that right there is an example of why a while ago I said I usually do it upside down first so that I can get the bottom underneath there so I'm not struggling trying to see. this bread box but I just really don't know what color I want to do it. I just haven't decided. I don't know if I should do the vintage duck egg or if I should do um, a dry 
dried sage or collard green or kudos but I think that's all I'm going to do for right now and get ready to go back to the bus and I will see you guys a little bit later